What is up, guys? This is Sabin Kenobi playing some Orcs Must Die 2 today. Uh, today we're playing level 13, Mirror Image of the Trapless Experiment. We're going through the game, trying to beat this uh, without using any traps, and if so, as little traps as possible. Mainly just barricades, as you can see, I'm putting some up. We're playing Lazy today. Uh, my co op partner, Womp Rat, um, who came up with this idea of the trapless experiment, did go through this level without using barricades. Um, pretty intense with this short walk here to the rift, but like I said, today we're going to be lazy, put up a few barricades, make these upper doors, have to go downstairs, and uh, yeah, here we go. Obviously always sporting some lightning, also have the polymorph rings since we got lucky with that last time if you watch my previous video of the level crunch. Uh, also brought the uh, stun trinket along with me because my co-op partner Wamprat um, uses that pretty frequently, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, don't know how much I really will end up using it, but we're gonna see. And yeah, they're almost there. You gotta love the announcer in this level because he says that when they cross that last step. And even without barricades, they're still a good ways away from the rift, in my opinion. So don't believe everything that guy says. And here we go, on to wave two, just being lazy, shooting some lightning. Because I have plenty of time with those barricades up, I don't have to make quick work of them. And yeah, pretty uh, straightforward strategy, single non-charge shots, try and get rid of those shields and then lightning them to death. Also, we, as you can tell, brought the uh, Rift Defender Trinket and the Mana Trinket. Uh, pretty much essential at this point in the Trapless Experiment. Wave 3, as you can see, we're now going to have these two doors down here open up. Uh, just to piss off the trolls that are going to come through one of these doors. I'm going to put the barricades up so that he'll have to go to the other side. But a lot of runners spawn down here too, so... Pay attention to that. Could just lay down a firewall, but... They're almost there. Yeah, they're almost there. They're always almost there, you stupid announcer. Anyway, I'm going to play some music for you guys. Uh, enjoy the video. This is from ocremix.org. Check it out. Uh, let me know if you can figure out this game. Uh, it's a classic, so... Uh, ocremix.org. Check it out.
All right, final wave. Uh, that song was from da da dun, the original Nintendo game Contra. And if you don't know that game, what the heck? Seriously, everyone played that game because it was awesome. Anyway, uh, there's a direct link in the text below if you want to download it for free um, from OC Remix. If you haven't been there, that website is pretty awesome. Lots of uh, video game remix music from lots of different games, not just Contra. So, yeah, definitely check it out. We're getting more luck with our polymorph ring on those swamp trolls. Um, if you don't like the polymorph ring, if you have bad luck with it, um, Definitely use lightning on those guys. Uh, it makes quick work of trolls, uh, any troll. Doesn't matter if it's swamp troll, regular troll. I believe even mountain trolls are really susceptible to lightning too. Although, now that I said that, I could be wrong. But, uh, makes the final wave actually go very quickly. So, shorter video today. Four skulls, we let one troll through. I totally spaced that two spawned from both doors. Uh, it only took down one, if you noticed, and completely ignored the other, so that was totally my fault. But, one run on Mirror Image, guys, for Skull Victory. And, uh, yeah, looks like we only have a few more levels of Act 2, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'm Sabin Kenobi, signing off.